Guys, let me say this before this video starts. You are gonna wanna stick around to the end of this because I got a lot to say and you might find out very quickly that your life is about to change with Luna Classic. Back to the show. What is going on, Lunatics? Today on Believe in Lunk, guess what? We've got just a fantastic... Guys, I'm, I'm running out of words on this one. I've been thinking about this for a while now, trying to figure out, like, is this real? Because... If this, what I'm about to show you, if this is real in any way, then we're not fixed. The the, the chain's not fixed. Everything's not, not fixed. But guess what? Uh, an incredible amount of tokens are about to be burned. An incredible amount of USTC, all of it. And if that happens, then just like that, the switch is back on. And remember, guys, I told you that, you know, we're looking at a 15, 20X coming pretty soon. And this actually does that. I mean, this this actually does it like you, like you wouldn't believe. It, it, it's uh, going to be huge if it's, in fact, legitimate. We're going to talk about that in a second. But before we do, I do want to talk to you about one thing because, you know, I come to you every day and I talk jokingly about um, the, the sponsors of the channel. And it is important that you guys, uh, if you want me to continue to provide you with this content, it's important that you use Terra, uh, Terraport and that you use Terra Casino over here. Now, Terra Casino allows you to trade Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, USDC, USDT, Dogecoin uh, for your risk-based gaming. You can bet You can bet on sports. You can do PvP poker. Uh, you can do uh, Gates of Olympus, Sweet Bonanza, Sugar Rush, uh, Gates of Olympus 1000, Plinko. Uh, there, there's, there's tables. Uh, as long as you're doing some of this risk-based gaming, then you are helping to burn tokens. Now, I might add, remember, the they are number six right now overall in the burns, and that's not all. If you're trading and you do meme coins, things like that, then Terraport, that's the place for you to go. Now, remember, I stabled for right now, or when I say stabled, I put my stuff into Luna Classic for the moment because I think that that's going to be a, a good move and we're about to get a big pump. So I want to see that happen. Uh, so uh, I'm going to move into Rakoff. I'm going to move into Lunk Pepe. I'm going to move into Roddy. I'm going to move into uh, a bunch of these different meme coins in just a little while. And don't forget Rocket Launchpad is coming soon. I'm going to be able to launch a lot of new meme coins, create a vibrant sort of ecosystem here, and potentially the Alliance Protocol is coming. So make sure that you check all of this out today. That being said, let's get into it. Um, we got a lot. Uh, there, there's there's some some wild stuff happening over here, and I think that we need to cover it. All right, so first of all, in the easy stuff, no update on Commonwealth. Nothing really has changed. We're going to skip right into price action. As you can see right now, uh, is the recovery underway? Well, it's slower than you would want to see. Like, you really want to see an aggressive move up into this nine and, and drop zero sort of 1000 range, but it's not happening at this point. However, uh, it does have to be noted that we are staying above. Remember, I told you guys that this was kind of my line to gain, if you will, and it seems like we keep bouncing off of it and trying to make inroads into a higher high. And you can see this is where we're, we're kind of coming into this range here where sellers exist. This is a volume node in the short term over here when we drop down uh, in, in 2023. So this is a spot where sellers are coming in and, and starting to uh, get out. But I don't think that that's going to be the case for very long. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. But uh, we are on recovery path. I think everything is fine. Uh, trade volume down a little bit, but uh, market cap up 2%. Same thing for USTC. It is up 10% comparatively speaking, but it's also up uh, just 2% on the day. Just starting to spike right about now, as you guys can see, uh, USTC up 10, 2% uh, excitement and Luna Classic up 1.2%. While the broader market is really starting to gain a little bit of traction, you might you see Bitcoin and Ethereum start to really run, I think. You know, a lot of people are just randomly saying, the bull runs on, baby, um, uh, on, on, on X, stuff like that. So something is going on underneath. And, um, you know, rate cuts, stuff like that. There's, there's going to be plenty of, of things in the market we'll talk about a little bit later on. Let's focus right now, or at least I should focus. Uh, Coin Hall. No change. I'm still holding on to it. There's no there's no governance proposals that are up right now. So, you know, we have nothing uh, really to talk about in, in terms of governance proposals, et cetera, et cetera. But what we do have to talk about is this right here. Luna Foundation Guard. Now, they put out their wallets so that we can continue to track the wallets. There's the Terra Classic wallet. Now, 
what does this look like? This is the LFG reserves. So what is in this wallet? And remember, if, if, if this is legitimately part of Terraform Labs, then something has to happen here. Forgive me while I turn the darkness down. Uh, something has to happen here. So the question is, what do they have? Well, this right here, USTC, they have 1.86 billion USTC. Now guys, there's only 5.8 billion in circulation. They're about to remove, I think, one third of the overall supply. They hold an incredible and significant amount of USTC. So in the event that this is part of the burn process, then wow. Right now, the other thing is they're holding 227 million, uh, 222 million uh, Luna, and that's going to be worth 18,000 for. Uh, and, and I'm not sure, by the way, it's not really specified here whether that's um, Lunk or Luna 2. I think it's Lunk. So, um, I, I, again, I'm not sure, but we'll see how that breaks down. But 1.86 billion USTC, guys, USTC now has a shot. It has a big opportunity to make a, a, a big time move uh, coming up. So uh, again, this is uh, available and just, just tracked, just recently tracked. Now, you know, the question is, will it maintain itself that way? And I don't know the answer to that, but here's what I do know. Let's move over to something else. Here's the distribution of USTC in wallets belonging to Terraform Labs. Now, right here, you still have this amount, 18.82% uh, uh, on LFG, 1.8 billion. Now, I don't know how much of this has been scooped back up and put back into Terraform Labs, but they have 47% of the total supply allegedly right here. This is Oracle Rewards, 1.16 billion. We probably have those at this point. Ozone Insurance Treasury, 800 million. Uh, we, we may have that back. All of this stuff we might have back. We know that LFG, we do not have that. So there's a potential here for 20% of the uh, the entire uh, distribution here to be burned off in a very short period of time right now in compliance with the SEC regulations. So uh, this could be up to 47%. Now, what does that mean broadly? Well, we're trading at 1.8 cents right now. Imagine the FOMO that's going to build up to see a huge reduction in supply like that. And then imagine that the, basically the price would double because the, the, the remaining market cap will be distributed amongst the remaining tokens. So uh, instead of having you know 6.8 billion supply, we would suddenly have 4 billion supply, something like that. So that's potentially going to happen here. And guys, that's going to create FOMO. That's going to create a magnificent run. What would you say sitting here right now at 1.8 cents? You know, what if, uh, what if, what if USTC runs up to 50 cents? You know, you cut half of the supply, you don't turn it into 50 cents, but you create uh, this situation where people are super excited about it. And remember, market cap pretty low, pretty, pretty, you know, pretty, pretty down. If you get some excitement in here, then it's going to get real, right? And you can repeg, by the way, at this point, you can repeg and you would have much less supply that you would be dealing with. So, but let's keep moving on because we're not done yet because there's also this right here. And this is on June 25th and this is Terra Classic. This wallet holds 2 trillion Lunk and has about one, ha, has about 2 billion USCC. Let's find out who it belongs to. And here's the thing, as you go down the, the list here, you don't know exactly who it is that, that has it. You just know that there's a, a lot right there. Now, could it be Binance? I mean, it could be, but the more likely play out here is this Terraform Labs. Uh, this is a Terraform Labs wallet. And what if that is the case? If that is the case, then remember, they have 274 billion in one wallet and 1.96 trillion in another wallet. That's 2.3, 2.4 trillion. That is 33% of the supply that they're holding on to. Not to be outdone, there's also 2.389 billion USTC. Now, if you just consider that that also is a third of the supply and you add that into the 18%, then we're starting to do some Scott Steiner math here where we're talking about nearly 50% of USTC being burned just like that. So there is an incredible moment happening right here that could potentially play out over the next 60 days where, you know, get your FOMO caps ready because it could get crazy. Again, 1.94 trillion uh, sitting here right now, currently worth $162 million. Now, is that Binance? I don't know. But it, it is uh, sitting out here, and it is said to be 
a Terraform Labs wallet, but I don't know right now. So also, again, 2.83 billion tokens sitting right here. So how much do you think that would matter? I mean, what do you think would happen there? Everything that we think would be, would be, um, would be, the, everything becomes different. Okay. Everything is no longer what you think it is. So much supply ends up getting burned. And, you know, guys, if we just take a moment and look, we've burned 123 billion tokens. Uh, we've burned 7 billion in the last seven days. The amount of burns that are happening right now, phenomenal. But does it translate to price action? It does not because we don't have clarity on BTC Turk other than that they delisted Luna Classic. So now the question becomes, are they going to relist? If they do, is, ever, is everybody going to get super excited about it? Or is that just moved over to Binance? And if it's moved over to Binance, fine. Binance is absorbing the BTC Turk tokens. Um, I think they owe compensation to BTC Turk if that is the case, if it's on the Binance chain instead, or if it's on Binance. So they're going to have to work out uh, exactly what it is, or they're going to have to move back. And if they move it back, 6.5 billion more are going to get burned or close to 6.5 billion more are going to get burned. So that's another big burn if they're doing it that way. Also, it could, you know, there could be a little bit of a mixture here. I, I don't know for sure. We're, you know, we're, we're going to watch this. If this were um, the Binance wallet, though, I think we would know about it by now. I think we would know that that's the, the, the wallet. And I think that uh, Binance holds a lot more. They hold over half, so this is like the other half. So something really, really incredible could be on the verge of happening. You should be super excited about it. Either way, we're going to burn at, at least three times as much as we've burned already. Um, there's already a narrative out here that once you know, once we start to burn a lot of this stuff here, people are going to be like, what is going on over at Luna Classic? Now, not only that, remember we talked yesterday about the Alliance Protocol. And the alliance protocol could change everything. We have alliance over here. Then what we have is we have a cross-chain bridge that's going to allow people to move back and forth. And it's going to open up this ecosystem to liquidity providers, stakers. It's going to open up everything. And remember, the alliance, uh, it, it, the, the rewards on that are a little bit more robust and a little bit bigger. And of course, we're going to have to vote. We're going to have to do some governance. We're going to have to figure it out. And you're going to find out very, very quickly who's on your side and who's not on your side. And I'm telling you right now, it is my opinion that all nodes is not looking out for your better interest. They're looking out for their better interest. And if it's aligned with Luna Classic, fine. But when it's not, they're gonna hold this blockchain back. So uh, we need to be strong in this regard. So um, I think that it's very, very important to recognize what is going on right here. The paradigm shift is happening at this point. And if you're not bullish right now, the, let me put it this way, the path to Luna Classic to $1, that's very, very clear right now. That's very, very clear. I should say a penny. I already said, you know, I told you guys 2.8 cents is what I thought it was going to be in this next bull run. Well, that has changed a little bit uh, very rapidly into a more positive outcome. I think it's now an almost a walk in the park to get to 2.8 cents in this next bull run. And if you consider where you are right now, that's probably about a hundred or a 200 X from where we're currently sitting. So, uh, well, actually that's a, what a 400 X from where we're currently sitting. So uh, guys, I mean, I would get ready for what could be the, the revival of a lifetime. And remember, everybody loves a comeback story. If we're able to do this and we're able to produce anywhere close to what I'm talking about. And by the way, remember, I told you guys a long time ago, massive amounts of burn coming. We're going to burn, burn trillions of tokens and we haven't done that yet. So when I say this right now, this is hyperbole. This is what could be happening. I'm not telling you that we're going to do this. I'm telling you that if, if this starts to happen, this is the beginning of something special. But again, this could be somebody just just be somebody's wallet. 2.19 million. They're just holding on or 2.19 trillion. They're just holding on to a fantastic amount. It wouldn't make sense, but Chris Amani did go on to spaces without saying the amounts and he said a significant amount is about to be burned. So, significant to him is probably a little different than us because we look at 200 billion and we're like, that's kind of a drop in the bucket. It's going to take a hundred years before we get all of this stuff done at the rate that we're doing it right now. And then he's like significant. Well, that sounds like about a third of the supply. And that's exactly what uh, these numbers add up to. So this is the moment right now where you put on your 
Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than Cryptonomy.finance? Remember, Cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm going to max that out. I'm going to stake this for uh, nine months here, 71.8% yield return. That's going to give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back over here to the launch pool. I'm going to throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm going to be in the bronze level, I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Your bullish hat and your horns and everything and you start getting super excited because it is possibly game-changing what's about to happen. But but I would like to know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know, do you think that this is something that's about to happen? Uh, I'm I'm incredibly bullish. I'm incredibly excited this morning, w waking up to to the information that I'm finding right now. It, it, it needs clarity. And again, I might be speaking out of turn on this. I don't know whose wallets these are. But I do know that, you know, 1.8 billion of it is the Luna Foundation Guard. And they're part of Terra, they're they're part of Terraform Labs. And if they try to scam the SEC with some bullshit, that will not fly and they will be in big trouble. I think their compliance at this point is going to be paramount. Luna Foundation Guard has no purpose other than to protect the price. That is their protocol. It would be illegal. The SEC would step in and they would shut down everything. Uh, this would continue and we're not done yet. And there would be prison time for these people to not follow what the SEC is ordering. So I assure you that 1.8 billion USTC is about to be burned. That makes perfect sense. And then there was, uh, I want to say, a couple hundred million that were sitting over in the uh, uh, in the, the Terraform Labs wallet. So, but if you combine those, we might be looking at the, the most incredible recovery, again, that you've ever seen in cryptocurrency. But let me know, again, what you think in the comments down below. I'm super bullish today. I'm repeating myself because I think things are about to get incredibly exciting. So... If you haven't already, and look, I know, by the way, you know, I owe you guys some, let's talk about Terra Tritium, let's talk about Galactic Shift, let's talk about other things that might be happening, Rackoff, you see me. We, we, there's, there's a bunch of stuff going on that you guys might not be privy to, that I might allude to, that I can't talk about, or, or that might be going on that, that, that's game changing, right? We're going to get there. I'm going to share all of it with you, but right now, just get excited because I think what you're about to experience is the journey of a lifetime. But this is not financial advice. I'm just always right. So uh, you decide for yourself what your risk tolerance is, what's best for you, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.